never. A pussy hole could never. your girl blue checking in and if you're new to my channel be sure to like comment subscribe and share and again welcome to my channel so y'all we finna get into this lace tutorial i'm finna reinstall um a lace that i only wore it once um i tinted it bleached or not so we finna <laughs> Get into this video, all right? We bought. Gonna pop out these um off these glasses and put on my contacts so I can see a little better, so I can get right. Today is breakfast, you know, brunch and business. So I'm having a brunch with one of my business partners, and I'm ready, ready. As you can see, face at us. Like I said, I already tinted it, tinted it, and everything off camera. So, let's see where we at. <coughs> mm. Hmm. In the game, huh? Like, swim well, huh? Hairline already melted and it's not even to the skin, baby. Like, but this where I'm finna place my wig at right here. So, this is the glue of choice. I got this from my local beauty supply. This shit high as fuck, no lie. I need to just go ahead and order off the original website, but this was last minute because I had a client and I was out of glue after buying multiple bottles of Ghost Buy. I keep seeing everybody keep talking about this, so I'm finna see what it's bought. Boho. Purr. Purr. So let's get into this meltdown. Um, with the ghost bond, I realized that it's better to spread it like with your finger because you get it the most flattest. So that's how I've been doing it mostly on myself and some of my clients. Um, I also use this to aid me or sometimes on my clients, I use this. And I got this in like a big behind pack. So, and from my um, beauty supply store. Easy. So, get it how you live it. You can do it like me. Do it however you want. But just make sure it's flat, sis. Because if you don't got no flat glue on there, you're going to be real disappointed with the outcome. So, just take your time and get it flat. But I did learn that with this, um, your finger, it's a lot easier. It helped get it a lot flatter and dry faster. I always remember being cap. Me, I just use the cap the same color as my hair. Um, I don't do the bald cap method. This right here is all you need, I promise you. And it looks the exact same. And it protects your hairline the exact same. Now see, look the same. The exact same. I still put it between the cap and my skin.
And y'all, I meant to say I got a cap the same color as my skin, not my hair. But I was just hoping some of y'all knew what I meant. But on this particular part, if you're um, new at doing this or you're not experienced in doing this, I will recommend you do this with a blow dryer. I've done this a couple of times, so I know how to get it dry and get it clear. You know, yeah. Use a blow dryer if you need a blow dryer. I always have to go back and do this because I cut my lace pretty jagged. I, I never cut my lace in a straight line. And that just helped me blend my lace better. Like, I feel like you can see that straight line when it's going all the way across. Versus this, if you know how to melt this the right way, you will not see any nothing. You won't see nothing. But ladies, please stop cutting y'all lace in a straight line. Cut it in some type of shape. Cut it zigzag. That's the only way your lace gonna blend the right way. I still see some people, some professionals cut their lace like um, straight, but I wouldn't really recommend that at all. Like, I would never recommend that you cut your lace straight because that's that that defeats the point of wearing the lace if you cut the lace straight because you want it to look natural. But if you cut the lace straight, it's not going to look natural. Well, I, I won't say it won't look natural, but it's not going to look natural as it can. I'm just going to get a little bit more of these little areas that stick it up. So just keep watching. Oh shit. Touching it with my fingers and shit. Oops. Okay, now we got little mama done. My next, well, what I really want to say, ladies, is in this lace shit, less is more. Less is more. Let me say it again. Less is more. When you have less, it looks better. It looks natural, and that's the goal. Less is more. Remember that, okay? 
So I'm gonna go in with my gun and my elastic again. First, well, look like that's straight for the most part. I think in the middle part, y'all. But I guess we'll see once everything is flat and everything is melted. I'll comment below and let me know if I should do a middle part, I should do a side part, or how I should style my hair. Below, down below, oh, 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 down below, down below. We just had to get into this one more time, baby. This meltdown. It is melty, y'all. Real shit. No cap. Straight scalp action. And this is just concealer, y'all, to define my part. Um, I'm finna show it to you in a minute. So yeah, y'all already know the deals. Just keep watching. Period. 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 And y'all see, I just keep straightening this in the up up motion every time i brush it and i straighten it i do it in an up motion to create volumes i don't like no flat looking baby hairs i like my junk laid sleek and natural yes give it life baby give it life And y'all know I normally just do scalp action. I don't do all these baby hairs. But I was like, let me just try a little razzle-dazzle, you know, right here to make it a little last a little bit longer, you know. So I'm putting them baby hairs, okay? Just just a few. Spice it up with a little zazzaran. Y'all know the deal, let's just do the same thing to the other side. So y'all right here, I'm just taking my gotta be free spray and molding my um baby hairs and molding my hairline. 
so and creating volume so just keep watching y'all just keep watching A little goes a long way, okay? You don't need to use that much. Okay, y'all. Bye. Peace out. Y'all, thank y'all so much for staying tuned. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And peace out, y'all. See y'all later.